you are watching the first of three Golden Touch videos that detail the eight physical elements of dice control. This video covers elements one, two, and three. For further information, go to www.goldentouchcraps.com or call 1-866-SET-DICE. Now, please enjoy the video. The eight physical elements of dice control. It is absolutely essential that the eight physical elements of dice control be learned perfectly. Element one, where to stand. If you were a pitcher in baseball, do you think you'd have a better chance of striking out a batter, throwing the ball from second base to home plate, or from the regulation pitcher's mound? The closer you are to home plate, the faster your pitch will be, and the better chance you'll have of beating the batter. So the pitcher's mound is where you want to be. You don't want to pitch from second base. The same holds true for dice control. The closer you are to the back wall, the better it is for your throw. The less energy you impart to the dice, the less energy they have to bounce and randomize when they land on the table and hit the back wall. The further away you are from the back wall, the more difficult it is to control the dice. Golden Touch recommends that you stand either stick right one or stick right two or stick left one, or stick left two. These are the closest points of the table to the back wall. In general, it is better to play at shorter tables than at longer tables. So you take your position at the table as close as you can get to the back wall. We first recommend that right-handers stand at stick left, and left-handers stand at stick right. This allows an easy pendulum swing and the release of the dice will be as close as possible to the back wall. Only if these positions feel completely uncomfortable should you stand on the opposite stick. Give yourself a few weeks of practice before you decide you can't handle our first recommendation, as that recommendation is the best way to play for most shooters. What you want to gain is consistency. Being able to throw from both positions is not a badge of honor. Using that baseball analogy again, not too many baseball greats could hit from both sides of the plate. The same goes for dice shooters. Find the position that feels the most comfortable and practice from that position. Master one position before trying to master a second position. When you are standing at the table, your non-shooting arm can simply grip the table like so. You can also put it flat down if you wish, like so. Golden Touch recommends the first position for most people is it has maximum comfort. Elements 2 and 3, scanning and setting the dice. There are many different dice sets. However, for the purposes of this video, the set we will focus on will be the Hardway set, although we will show you others as well. The Hardway set is the best one for avoiding the appearance of the 7. This is because with one click of the dice, a seven will not show. Now, how do you make the Hardway set? When the dice are in the middle of the table, you should be looking at them. As they are passed to you, you want to know exactly how you're going to arrange them based on what faces you are seeing. Now, a simple rule of thumb is to put the six die to the left and the one die to the right. The six one is your axis of the dice. Always do this, and the Hardway set is easy to make. Now all you do is make sure you have 3-3, three, 5-5, three, five, five, four, 4 and 2-2 two, two as the combination showing. With the 6 die on the left and the 1 die on the right, and with any Hardway number showing, you can now be confident that your set is perfect. The 3V set. Now, let Dom show you the 3V set. This set doesn't give you as much protection against the 7, so we don't recommend using it until you have practiced with the Hardway set for at least six months. You may never use the 3V set, and that's okay. Many of our Golden Touch shooters never use the 3V, or they go back to the Hardway set if their dice are off. However, the 3V is the set that concentrates on the inside numbers, and a proficient 3V setter will hit those numbers 
more than probability dictates. The old seven set. The third set is the old seven set. It is easily made from the Hardway set by rotating one die twice. This set can be used on your come out roll to hit those sevens. You can easily learn how to make the dice sets by keeping a pair of dice with you and practicing. Setting the dice quickly and smoothly helps keep the casino personnel from getting upset. One last thing, always have a pair of dice with you so you can just get a feel for them. Would you like to learn more? If so, get Casino Craps Shoot to Win by Frank Scobletti with Dominator. It is the most comprehensive craps book ever written. The only book that gives you everything you need to get a real, verifiable edge at the game of craps. Plus, Casino Craps Shoot to Win comes with a special DVD showing unedited controlled throws by Dominator, the world's greatest ice controller, and commentary by Frank Scobletti. Casino Craps Shoot to Win can take you from a novice to a winner. If you want to beat the game of craps, this is the book for you. It has everything you need to know to get the edge over the casinos. To order, go to www.goldentouchcraps.com or call 1-866-SET-DICE. Do it now. Would you like to add a second advantage game to your arsenal against the casinos? If so, get Beat Blackjack Now by Frank Scobletti. You can beat the game of blackjack. Go from a traditional blackjack player to an advantage player with a real edge over the house in several easy to master steps in this breakthrough book. Beat Blackjack Now is the only blackjack book you'll need to really beat the casinos. If you want to turn the tables on the house, if you want to do to the casinos what they do to other players, then this is the book for you. This book can take you from a novice to an expert player. To order, go to www.goldentouchcraps.com or call 1-866-SET-DICE. Do it today.